We are not going to be talking much about October CMS uh, in this series, but we have to set it up because it's going to be used as our API. So in this episode, we are going to do that. And in the next episode, we are going to start creating our actual application. Most of the things that we are going to be doing in this episode, we already done in the making websites with October CMS series. So if you don't understand something, just check that series out and uh, go through the episodes that cover the stuff that we are going to be doing right now. So in this episode, we are going to be using Builder plugin, Faker plugin, uh, and also we are going to create the first part of our API. Uh, that is going to actually provide us with the data that we need on our application side. Okay, so first of all, we go to the settings and we have to install two plugins. The first one is going to be Builder and the second one is going to be the Faker plugin. We are going to use that plugin to populate our database with some fake data. So we just go to update some plugins, install plugins and search for builder okay once that is done we install the faker plugin okay now we are going to create our own plugin using the builder uh, which is actually going to be our to-do list so we go to the builder uh, we click right here and we create the plugin we are going to call it to do uh, the author is going to be watch learn and that is also going to be our namespace and let's see right here let's put this list as uh, the icon for our plugin and we click ok next thing we need to do we need to create a database so i'm just going to add a database right here and add a few columns to it so the first column is of course going to be the id the id is going to be integer uh, and it's going to be auto incrementing next thing we need the title for our to do so for every item in our to do we are going to have a title that is going to be type of string and that's about it let's create another column uh, this one is going to be the description so it's going to be the description of our to-do item and it's going to be text and that's it uh, one more column that we are going to have to have is going to be the status column so is the to-do completed or not so we are going to call it status and it's going to be a boolean so it's it, it only go, it's only going to have two states is it done or is it not done and that's it so one or zero and one more thing i want to add right here is we're going to add timestamps so we are going to have created that and updated at uh, fields okay we just save this we click save and apply and that's about it next next thing we go to models we add a new model and it's going to be called to do uh, we add time timestamp support for it uh, we are not going to add soft deleting support click ok and now we have our forms and lists okay so we have to create a form for our to-do list and I'm going to add one for the title it's going to be a text form i'm going to put it right here so it's going to be uh, and the label for the field is going to be title also we can leave everything else as is let's create another one for the description so this is going to be a text area so description and okay uh, we set it to be auto and let's set the size of it to be large okay let's create another control and that control is going to be a switch so is the to do item done or it or is it not done so i'm going 
to create a status field and it's going to be called status okay and I think that should be it save this we don't need to create create that and update that fields because they are going to fill themselves out uh, once you create a to do it's going to take the current date and time and put it uh, in our database okay so the next thing we want to do is I go to the backend menu and add a menu item this menu item is going to be called to do and I think or let's call it to do the and let's add an icon to it so it's going to be this list icon and I think that's about it let's just save this we have to fill this URL out but we are not going to fill just yet uh, first of all we actually have to go to models again and create a list for our to do's and the list is going to consist of just title for now so that we don't spend too much time on it it's going to be a text uh, the label is going to be title and it's going to be searchable and maybe sortable okay save it next thing we need to do we need to go to our controllers and create a new controller it's also going to be called to do uh, we have to select a model for it and select a menu item which is going to be to do's a list controller behavior form controller behavior and that's about it click OK now we have this set up and now we can go back actually let's just refresh this page first of all now you see we have this to do's icon right here but we have to go to the back end menu click on to do's and fill out this URL so if we just start typing to do it's going to add this address automatically so watch learn to do to do save it refresh the page again and if we go to to do's we should get to the list of our to do's and now we can create a to do so test we have we set some description and click on and click create and that's about it now if I go to to do's now we have this test to do uh, I can change it edit it and so on so we are not going to want to do that on the back end as I said before uh, once we get into the development of our actual application we are going to make it so that we can add new to do's from the front end so right now I'm in my code editor and uh, we are going to create a route for our faker plugin to populate the database so that we don't have to insert uh, our test data by hand so I'm just going to go to the plugins watch learn to do and now right here I'm going to create a new file called routes.php okay uh, we open up PHP tag we don't need this one and we use we use the to do model and now we create a route which is going to call be called API populate so when we hit that route when we go uh, without browser to that route so API populate it's going to populate our database with uh, some example to do's okay now we have our function set up our anonymous function and first of all we are going to use the faker plugin next thing we need to do we need to create a for loop which is going to go to the number 20 and create 20 to do's and now we use a create function to create our to do's since we used to do model right here we can just uh, write to do create okay and now I'm just going to paste in this right here 
so as I said before, we already covered all of this in the making websites with the Kotobra CMS. I'm going to put it right here. So in the cards, I'm going to put the link to the faker video so that uh, you can maybe check that out if you don't know what exactly is happening here. But I'm just going to go uh, very fast through this. So we are creating the title, description, status and create that date. Uh, and we are using this faker variable that we called right here. And here we are creating a sentence of uh, six words at the maximum. Uh, then we are creating some text with maximum number of 200 uh, characters. Then we are uh, creating a Boolean, which is going to be true 50% uh, of the time. So it's either going to be one or zero 50% of the time. So some of the some of our to do's will be done and some won't. And then we are setting this created at date to be this format of date and the maximum for that date is going to be a uh, current time. And uh, that's about it. We just return. So this is going to be the message that we will receive uh, once this, uh, these to-dos are populated. Now we go to our browser and we go to API populate. So as you can see, my uh, URL is todo.dev API populate. And it says that is not found and that is because I didn't actually save this file. So let's try that again. Okay, so now we get the syntax error, of course, on uh, line 15. Let's find line 15. And maybe we should do this. Okay, now we get this error. And we get this mass assignment exception. When this happens to you, this is because some of the fields are not fillable. So you can't mass assign some data to them. So to correct that error, uh, you would have to go to models to do. And now somewhere around here, uh, you create uh, fillable fields. And those fields are created like this. So our title is going to be fillable. So our title, description and status. We save this. Let's try this again. And now we have this to do is created. And if we go to the back end and go to to do's, now we see that we have these to do's right here. So if I click on one of them, you got the title, you got the description and the status is off. Let's try this one. As you can see, the status for this one is on and so on. So now we created our to do's. Uh, one more thing we are going to do in this tutorial is create the first part of our API. And that part is going to be just the list of the to do's that uh, we have uh, to work with. So we are back in our code editor in the routes.php file. I'm just going to create some space for me right here. And now we uh, create another route, which is going to be called API to do's. So this is going to be our main route for displaying or all of our to do's. And to do that, you just do route get. And it's going to be API to do's. And now we just set the to do's variable, which is just going to be to do all. So Laravel or October, actually, uh, that is using Laravel, of course, is going to get all of our to do's in this variable. And then there is just one more line of code for this, and that's return to do's. Okay, and we save this. Now, since uh, Laravel, which is the base for October, is actually a REST based framework, this is the only thing that you need to do. So when you just return something to the route, it's automatically going to be uh, converted to JSON and displayed. So this is what we are going to be using in our application to get all of the to do's. Uh, we are probably going to do that uh, in the next episode. 
So if I go to right here and do API to do's, we get this. So we get all of our to do's in JSON format. So we got the ID, the title, the description, and of course, the date that the date and time that this is created. And that's about it. This is how you create the first part of the API for our application. So now that we have all this set up, uh, in the next episode, we can actually start using view and pulling this data into our application. Remember, everything we did here will be available for you on GitHub. The link will be in the description below. If you want to ask me questions, you can do that on Facebook, Twitter, GitHub, uh, YouTube, wherever. Uh, also, of course, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, maybe subscribe to it. And if you want to send some money my way, you can use the Patreon page for that. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.